Hey you guys, thanks for coming back A to Z Haircutting. This is going to be a short one. Just want to show you, I just did my, uh, cut my grandson's hair and I'm going to clean up his beard. Now, there's certain factors. You have to know Not face short, shape and facial structure. Okay, I'm sorry, that's from the last video. Um, okay, so we're going to move forward. Okay, so um, can I take this off underneath? Yeah, one thing that I want you to notice is many times men don't men just want to grow a beard because they want to grow a beard they have no idea about facial shape or facial structure and this is where your recommendations come in and are very very important so what I'm going to do first is I want to get rid of some of that I want you to notice how this makes his face look heavy all right thanks so um, <laughs> the jawline is your guide. If you feel underneath, there's the jawline there. So feel underneath your own skin, you'll feel that jawline. That is your guide. The determining factor from there is, then of course you go to the, to the I guess the end of the neck right here. So it would be the end of the neck. My preference is to get rid of that hair underneath that creates strength. Uh, if men have a real, have no, no corner on the jawline, it will create that corner for you. So working on the bottom of the beard, and I'm using my, my T edge, I'm just going to come down here and I want you to see, just in doing half of it, the difference that that makes visually. And how much more slender his face looks. You can see that it creates that square, it creates that a uh, good solid line on the bottom. We are going to take this a little bit shorter, not a lot. And you could use a guard to cut these. I do them freehand, but today I am going to go ahead and use a guard to show you how to do it. But now I'm going to come over to the other side, and what I'm doing is, the reason that I'm not struggling with it is because the jawline is my guide. And you can see both. I hope my head is not in the way right there. And then they can go home and shave that. It gives them a guide as well. Now I'm going to shift his head. Uh, not yet. I'm going to use a guard to take that off. So another factor to create that strong jawline, your lip. Remember I've shown you before that the face is points of measure. So where the lip... <laughs> <It's> my grandson. <laughs> Where the lip ends right there is where I'm going to take it to the sideburn. So I'm just going to hold it vertically and take it to the sideburn. Now again, this takes practice. So if you're going to do this, do this on somebody that's going to be okay with it. There's the lip, there's the guide. So you're not guessing back and forth in other words. You're using the facial shape, facial structure to create your line. Okay, I'm going to have you just turn your head. Okay, so again I've got the lip. And the same thing with the face. The hair tends to grow in slightly different directions. Okay, so are we seeing now a stronger jawline? Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, we're seeing a much stronger jawline. This hair is longer, so it's going to, it's going to lay down longer. Uh, let me get one of my guards here. And I'm just going to go in with my oster. This is a fourth inch. A fourth inch for me is about finger length. Is finger length okay? Or a little longer? That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to put my guard on there, take it, and just clean it up. And his beard does not take long to grow. So do you now see the difference as well? See how much nicer that lays? Okay, will you turn your head for me please? Okay. And as I said before, the combs are to separate the hair, which is what they're doing. Okay, 
So as you can see, again, now that's looking much cleaner. I want to take it up closer to the jawline. And it's always better to cut it longer first and then shorter if you need to take more off. If the guys don't want it off, don't take it off. But you want to be able to tell them why you did it. I hope you can see this with my head in front of it. It is very, very slenderizing for them. So it really creates a nice slender line. Another thing, if they have a real pointed chin, you don't want this little piece right here. So you'll see that his, I mean, he's got a nice strong jawline. He's got a nice, you know, almost squared off chin. But just to show you, it's going to square it off even more when I take that off. Do you see that? All right, so on the lips, on the mustache, do not let them curl their lips. I know they do that when they're doing their own mustache, but unless they're going to walk around like this, don't let them do that. They're going to walk around with their lips normal. You want to brace. You want to start at the top of the lip line, and what you're doing is you're actually just following the lip line. That's your guide. So you're going to follow the lip line down. And again, now when you get to the side of it, you notice I turn my clipper to clean it up. If I were to do this, I would take that all off. He wants that right there, and that's perfectly fine for his facial shape. I'm going to take it off on the other side, and then sideways. So it's not that difficult to trim up a, a beard. Uh, we could take it shorter on the sides if we wanted to. We could take it shorter on the... Get rid of what? Like the sideburns. Okay, so he wants the sideburns off. Or at least really short. Yeah. So we're going to take that up. I'm pulling it away from the skin just a bit so I don't take it. In other words, the comb would make that a one. And I'm going to bring that down just a bit more so we have a nice blend in there. So do you see the difference on both sides? So it just makes it much nicer. A, a, a mustache, I'm going to do the other side in a minute, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> you can talk like that to your family. Um, a, a mustache, a beard, there's so many different factors and that's understanding facial shape. Look, you know, look, uh, like I said, get an old cosmetology book. Look at all the facial shapes and start studying that on other people. What do you see? Do you see a pear? Do you see an oval? Do you see a rectangular? Do you see an oblong? What do you see if you were to take them and put them on a, on a shadow and just draw the outside of their face? Now the other factor is the profile. The profile, he's got a nice, you know, he's got slightly, slightly uh, convex, concave. If you know who Jay Leno is, he's almost the perfect concave. Concave inverts in and the extended uh, extended chin line, but he's he's slightly convex, almost straight. So what would make it straight is right here. But being that he extends out, so just very slightly. So he's got a very nice profile on his face. Those are the things that as well that we try to take care of. If they have a large forehead, you want more of that coming forward. You want more of that, you know, coming up. Um, his forehead is not that large. He recedes back slightly, so you could have some length coming down there. Do you see the difference? Uh, could you have a side part with this? You could if you wanted to. So there's many factors involved in this. Let me take care of this other side. I'm going to turn his head so you can see it again. I'm going to clean it up. It all grows just slightly different on each side. I want to get this corner out of there. And that's part of you, you know, do it with a mirror. I've been doing this a long time, so and I've been cutting his hair for a while. So we kind of know. Now, I would take the razor and kind of clean that up, but we're not teaching razor cutting right now. He's got a few little long pieces in there that I just took care of. But that's basically it on the okay, my clipper is stuck on that hinge. Um, that's basically it on this. But you can see that on, even on the face, 
both sides grow differently. One side may be a little fuller. Direction is a big thing. So I want to thank you very much. Like I said, this is a short video to show you how to trim um, a beard and a little bit on a mustache. Beards are a variety, complete variety. It just depends on the face shape. Uh, let's say that somebody has a really strong jawline and it makes them look like they have jowls. That's when you would take it a straight line down and it will soften that because it will draw the chin down. See, this is where the architecture and art, art, you know, how do we make somebody more slender? How do we make them a little heavier? It's the same thing. Uh, with makeup, you know, we do that with makeup many times. But this is taking it and shaping it in a direction so when they see it or when other people see it, it creates a certain image. Okay? Thank you so much. God bless. Short one. We'll see you again.